Hi, this is Farrell, and this is a drawing of Chamber. He was in Generation X of the X-Men uh, line, I guess, or the X-Men uh, family of comics for Marvel Comics uh, back... I don't know, I, I haven't read a Marvel comic in a while, but uh, it was like 20 years ago or something like that. Maybe like in the 90s, I remember this was like a... A character that I thought was pretty cool and someone requested a commission from me on my Patreon and so I, uh, I, I the drawing took me a while as it usually does the pencil part of the drawing um, and uh, yeah I just did this today I inked it today I started this morning and I, I ran some errands and then I came back and finished it and here I'm showing the kind of ink that I use here. It's the Dr. Martin's Black Star ink, and it's I think it's matte, maybe it's high carb, I don't know. But yeah, I made this little contraption here like a long time ago, like uh, 20 years ago or something, where it's like a piece of foam core that I carved out like a couple holes for like a, a water cup and a, uh, a contact lens case I use as like an ink reservoir. Um, <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's just uh, a Raphael 8404 is the brush that I'm using. It's a Kalinsky brush, and um, yeah, just that. Uh, it took, like they said, the pencils took me a while to get them. To, uh, well, just to get the like pose right, and I actually took uh, some reference photos. Just kind of stood in front of the mirror to try to get like. Uh, I don't own a leather jacket, but I have like a a jean jacket, like a big kind of winter jean jacket that I, uh, I busted out for this and uh yeah and I looked at a bunch of pictures of the character too because I don't uh I didn't remember exactly I mean I remember he had this like energy it was like a psychic energy thing kind of busting out of his chest and the bottom part of his face and his top part of his face was all messed up like scarred up or something um yeah I never really I never really understood how it works worked in real life like <laughs> like how you would see that it'd, it'd be interesting to see that in a like like a newer one of those newer you know superhero movies and stuff just like with the siege how they would pull that off because yeah it just seems so so odd like it kind of like destroyed part of his body when it the power manifested itself or something and uh um so yeah he doesn't have like a a jaw but I guess he kind of like tykes, talks uh, uh, psychically or something. Uh, but um, yeah, I, I, anyways, I inked this whole thing with a brush. Um, and uh, I knew that because I remember the comic or looking at this picture, his, his outfit's mostly just like leather, like black leather. So um, I figured I would use a lot of black ink on it. And here's, here's like the halfway point, where, like when I stopped, the stopping point, and then... I, you know, ran errands and then came back and here's where I, I picked it up again. Um, and here I just did more like, you know, rendering on the face and um, added some more tone to the, the background and um, tried to make it pop a little more. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's just like a, it's, I never really understood the, I didn't, I didn't read a, like a lot of these issues, but I just thought it like, just design wise, like visually, it was like a, cool looking character and uh it was fun to do and um yeah so that's the finish and if you want to get a commission of something you can check out my patreon two dollars a month um and uh i'll probably post this on my instagram and all that business too but thanks for watching this video and uh if you want to leave a comment or you can ask me questions or something like that. <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks. Bye.